Here we're going to just uh, recap on our interface and the parts of the screen and kind of the nomenclature of things. Starting right from the top, you're going to see it's going to say, you know, the name of the file you're in. You can go in here and um, search um, Revit using the search tool and it'll look in Autodesk Seek and look on the web or locally. So this is a really nice search tool inside of here. We've got some other options, Communication Center, where you can, if you're logged in um, and you can sign into your Autodesk account, A360, some of this stuff lights up quite nicely, specifically if you're using collaboration for Revit Tools, cloud-based project um, work. When you sign in here, things will change a little bit. We have our standard help menu over here. We have our tabs on the top over here. And as you change your tabs, your ribbon changes. Each ribbon has different panels and you can drag these panels off. Each panel, some have these little flyouts. You click on here and there's extra little wonderful hidden settings. You'll also notice that some of the panels have a drop down instead. So there's drop downs for, for instance, um, dimension type settings. You can set up your dimension styles. And then there's um, direct dialog boxes that come out inside of here. So keep an eye out for little flyouts. You've got split buttons inside of here. Some of them are smaller and bigger. My interface is squished a little bit here because of the resolution of my screen, but you'll start to notice that as you go to different tabs and different panels, you're also going to see other little settings inside of here. So you'll become familiar with whatever discipline you're working with. So stairs, we have stair by component, stair by sketch. Okay. You'll notice I go out and click nothing a lot. Click nothing to make sure nothing is selected. So keep an eye out for those little flyouts. Um, I have this is called the QAT quick access toolbar. You can go back and place it above the ribbon up top if you want. I like to put it on the bottom. You can see it's got these different sections on here that are that are turned on you can turn on new and it'll be in there so new project open save so these are all little tools so if you're drawing a lot of walls or you're doing something let's say you're in systems and you're working on a lot of plumbing today what you can do is go right click on here and say add to quick access toolbar it puts that tool in there right click oops and escape i started the tool right click add to quick access toolbar right click add to quick access to so it starts to add that stuff in there if you want to go modify that customize the quick access toolbar you can click in here and it's going to show you all of these tools are these guys so if you want to add a little separator in there you go in here and you say you know put a separator in there and it puts a little separator in there. so let's go back to those last piping ones i will go here and i'll say you know, add a separator. Oh, if it went to the wrong place, you can move it up and you can move it down. Okay, so this is just very basic, adding some favorites. So now when I draw a pipe, if I happen to be over here and I want to draw a pipe, I just go over here and click on here, right? I don't have to go looking for it up here. You'll also notice that if you hover, some of them you'll see in brackets, LI, that's the shortcut command. If you see brackets beside it when you hover, it means that you can type WA and get a wall. You don't have to go get it off of here. You don't have to click here. You just type WA and all of a sudden, boom, you start your wall tool. And when you do, you'll notice that your options bar lights up. Okay, As you start to draw walls and ductwork and columns and floors and slabs, you're going to start to see this. Don't this is where all the really juicy stuff is. And generally in the beginning, this is where you'll go wrong because you'll get all excited and start to draw stuff and you'll forget to set your levels or your heights or your center lines or whatever it is. So as you work down methodically, start your tool, always glance at this area. This is called the options bar. Hitting escape on the keyboard once or twice, escape, escape, clears your, your command. If you hit modify, it also clears your command. So escape, escape. Um, moving along with our interface, we've already seen we've got our project browser over here. We've got our properties palette. We've got our status bar down here. This is kind of one-way communication of Revit trying to talk to us. So as you start to draw stuff, 
you start your wall tool and you don't hover over anything you'll see it says oh it's finding an extension there <clears throat> um insert extension of wall so it's it's asking you to pick a point it's not <laughs> the greatest but if you're stuck glance down here but don't hover over anything because it'll tell you end point midpoint hover over the middle of nowhere and it'll say pick a point pick your next point etc so the status bar we've got some information on work sets and design options down inside of here um, if you're using those and then we have our drawing area so just the different kind of parts to the screen um, and the visibility graphics control per view um, detail level scale of the view whether you want shadows um, whether you want to hide stuff temporarily how you want your work sets to view okay hide analytical model reveal um, constraint objects okay very handy so some visibility controls we've got our selection tools over here okay whether you can select a link or select a, a surface or select a pinned element or use your press and drag so these guys are sneaky down here so keep an eye out for this bottom level okay your design visibility um your visibility tools your browsers your drawing area your options bar quick access toolbar all of your panels on your ribbon and then on the top we've got our help stuff and then Last but not least, we have our application pull down. New project, open a project, save a project, save as, export, publish, print. Okay, you can always do control P, close. So the, um, different options and a little bit more on the interface with our Revit 2017.